Hello, I'm Vladimir Kai from Biohacker from Bellevue, again, and we are in a Studio 50 where we are going in future to make uh, new broadcasts about uh, biohacking, the oratorium, and our super project, Art Science, it's called the Interactive Walk. There is my page, you can look there. Uh, a lot of videos about it, but uh, now we decided to went into the virtual reality, into 3D filming uh, of that um, uh, because that project is all about experience. It's immersive environment where people experience touch with another reality. And it started a long time ago, like 2013, I guess, uh, with Renaud Rios, um, uh, very fruitful collaboration. And since then, like 600 people went through our installation, but it's a session, it's an um, experience. And by filming it from outside, it doesn't look pretty impressive. So the people who was there, they see it perfectly fine, and they don't need explanations. The people who didn't was there, they can't understand what do those people doing there. From outside, it looks pretty funny. Uh, and especially to see those happy faces after the sessions. So what's it's about? Um, interactive form is a kind of a <laughs> resurrection machine. It's a uh, um, uh, space with a biological shape inside, like a tent, that four people can easily place inside. Uh, and five, it's the uh, artist itself who is running the session, like a shaman. Um, depending on the people, he adjusts uh, the musical compositions and um, also talking to them. Uh, and then, uh, what's happening there? Basically, we can overload all senses of the humans there with unusual combination of uh, imagery and sounds that they never seen before, and that makes brain wandering and excited. Uh, we even limited the session to 20 minutes because other way around people don't want to come out of that they don't want to stay forever. And uh, it looks like simple, like this is the special gadget, Lights of Life, invented by me long time ago. So in that one, people place that gadget and then they especially have the natural they, they, they took the headphones also connected to the central piece. Well uh, that produce um, special com compositions uh, based on uh, Fibonacci numbers uh, sequences and also contains the narrow sounds. Uh, it's a, like, a, like a trip, like a journey into another world. So then we have uh, headphones and stroboscope, which is a regulatable. So with the, clo the session, whole session close with, goes with closed eyes. And that is the problem how to explain people, because what's happening with the closed eyes? With open eyes, nothing will happen, it's just white light. But with the closed eyes, you get very close and um, and start. Mm -hmm. oh, so and, and, and start to play with stroboscope. And and start to play with stroboscope, uh, getting it very close with the distance, moving it the way you like, changing angles and also changing the frequency. So it goes, it has a very nice frequency around 70 Hz and another one at 30 Hz. And uh, in, in fact, there is another one frequency, but those stroboscopes are not allowed to sell you. <laughs> Even this one is not very real. Uh, so so uh, when you see it with closed eyes, with, with all the combination of things, then you, you jump into what I was calling a long time ago, some kind of another reality. There was no word virtual reality at that time. Uh, and then it's, it's a very, very beautiful world which we don't want to come out of it. It's, uh, essentially, it's, it's, it's like a child was born. And what he see, it's uh, hmm, all kind of patterns, uh, colors, uh, lines and, 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 and movements that he doesn't know how to react and how to understand and brings so slowly from that flow of primary reality 
uh, in the brain starts to build up that reality that we know now. That everything it's, has an object, everything has a name, we see things. But the child, when the woman doesn't see it, it needs to build up the um, So that experience of getting back to, to the moment of birth is very exciting. And well, uh, we saw like almost 600 people went through our installation that they love it enormously, especially some people just getting <laughs> crazy laughing and uh, in, in a sense a kind of uh, psychedelic experience but without drugs, just with the light. Uh, the similar machine exists uh, in Austria, the same time was invented, like uh, some cosmic force came to me and at the same time in uh, Austria and then Gelbert and Dr. Two scientists and um, Dirk they invented Lucia number 3 machine. If you Google Lucia number 3 you will find out that it's but it's pr primarily the stroboscope effects. Uh, <coughs> and we were one, one of the first proof rabbits for that machine and also get inspiration for our installation. But in our installation we use more um, power. That's not really about healing people, it's about strange experience. Uh, <coughs> no, that, that's it. And, and uh, when we try to explain that things to people, it's uh, pretty difficult. So no one can understand. So when the virtual reality came, that's Oculus 2, I guess, and Renaud bought uh, Oculus 1, he actually convinced me about the value of the thing. Um, we would like to create immersive, home-like environment in that virtual reality, where people with, with the with, uh, controllers can um, get, basically, the sick, can get idea of what is experience about. Also, they will be able to change the horoscope frequency, and adjust it to their own uh, eyes, and there we have more opportunities for this. this is more than 15 years um, Yeah, that's it. And um, um, yeah, uh, because of that corona things, we cannot run our installation. It stands in central Brussels. Uh, sometimes we open it for the people, but well, for last year it's <laughs> it's closed uh, because we need. To very small environment for people, of course, no masks possible there. It's, it's, it's not really individual destroyed things. So, uh, yeah, it's not working. So, we decided to make a virtual reality version of it so people with open eyes can um, experience something close to what people experience there because the power of the stroboscope is way bigger than the power of that uh, screen on the uh, Oculus. So with closed eyes, uh, it doesn't work there. So it must be open eyes, which is a kind of question if it's going to work or not. Because that very essential moment that whole things happens with closed eyes, with a strobo shining through the closed eyes. Then uh, that special effect has a special name. It's known for hundred years, but still no one knows what is the reason for it. Why we are seeing that kind of reality. Well, some ideas exist, of course, because it's uh, basically what we're seeing, it's a uh, work of primary visual system. We have two visual systems, one in the back and one is here. One is uh, dividing the world into some sort of small uh, basic objects, and uh, like uh, edges, uh, circles, uh, movements, uh, learning. And then it, that information sent into the prim um, secondary visual cortex, where it's turned into the reality, what we call reality around it. So that reality exists only by heavy processing of the original light signal. Uh, just the same as virtual reality, you, know, you need to create something very unique. <laughs> uh, that's how you like it. Uh, well, so that's it. So well, soon we are going to try to create that um, application for the Oculus a virtual reality headsets that will allow you to jump to immerse into our artistic installation that we would like people to copy but no one wants to copy because it's so strange that people just enjoying it and then they order it. It's too dangerous. Well, we've never seen any epileptic charges and we've never seen anything really uh, bad from that installation even though the war is existing. Okay, uh, so Vladimir and Reynaud, Heart Science Projects, the interactive form, is 
coming to the world, just the moment we will master the how to work with the virtual reality, how to create uh, things there inside, how to make those applications. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions around, uh, here's a Frankenstein kit. There is a videos on YouTube about I I do injections of uh, DNA of different species into my body as a biohacker and then experiencing some special effects. I guess those people who take a vaccination they also experience special effects. Mm, maybe just because the process, not because of content of what is inside that vaccination.